All home gardeners who love to plant and grow vegetables are familiar with annuals that you plant once and harvest all in one season. But there's a group of vegetables called perennials that you plant once and harvest year after year. The three most popular perennial vegetables are asparagus, rhubarb, and horseradish. Asparagus is a true delicacy. It's often expensive in grocery stores and isn't all that fresh. But asparagus is really easy to grow for the home gardener. Asparagus is available as seeds, roots, or pre-started plants. But regardless of which one you pick, planting's always the same. You'll plant them in rows, with the rows spaced about two to three feet apart. And what's really great about asparagus is that since it's a perennial, you can plant it in the spring and the fall. Keep in mind that asparagus, like all vegetables, prefers full sun and loose, well-drained soil with rich organic material. Also, be sure to plant it in an area that will remain undisturbed for its growing life cycle, which is generally three to five years. After the plants have established for a year, you'll start to see little spears showing up in the spring, and you'll be able to get a very small harvest that first season. Once spears reach a diameter between a pencil and your pinky, and are at least eight inches tall, you can begin to harvest. Simply cut off the spear right at the soil line, preferably on an angle. Never try and break it off or pull it directly out of the ground because this could damage the plant. If you love asparagus as much as I do, then you need to try some in your garden. You won't believe how easy and delicious it is. Rhubarb is a perennial vegetable with an almost cult-like following. It's legendary for its use in pies, jams, jellies, and even ice cream. Rhubarb is super easy for any home gardener to grow and can be planted in the spring or the fall. It prefers full sun and loose, well-drained soil and to be planted in an area that won't be disturbed over the years. Whether you've selected to grow roots or plants, the planting technique is the same. You'll put them in the ground, spaced two to three feet in every direction. After about a year of growth, once plants have established themselves in the garden, you can begin small harvests in the spring. To harvest, simply cut mature stalks off right at the base of the plant, making sure to never break them off or pull them out of the plant as this can create long-term damage. Now it's critical to remember that the leaves are not edible. You'll be using the stalks in all of your recipes. In the fall, once plants start to die back, simply go in and clean out some of the dying leaves and put a plant marker in the ground. That way you'll know where to expect the plant to come up the following spring. Rhubarb are incredibly hardy and really easy to grow, so give them a try in your garden and look forward to years of harvest to come. Fresh, homegrown horseradish has a flavor that is out of this world good. We're all used to the pre-prepared, watered down, jarred stuff that you get in grocery stores, but it's nothing compared to what you can grow at home. Horseradish is a perennial vegetable, or more accurately, a perennial seasoning vegetable. You can plant it in the spring or in the fall, and it comes up year after year. The usable part of a horseradish is the root, but it actually has a really aesthetic, upright leaf habit. You'll want to plant your roots in full sun or partial shade in rich, well-drained soil that has lots of organic matter. They can be spaced 18 inches apart in rows 30 inches apart. Harvest the roots in the fall once foliage has died back. Simply take a spade and go right into the soil, digging up no more than a half to two thirds of the total mass so that you have roots to regenerate for the following spring. Homegrown horseradish is easy and incredibly rewarding to grow. Give it a try in a corner of your garden and taste the fresh difference. Happy gardening.